Okay, so let's talk about one of the most important parts of Unity, the scene panel. So the scene panel is where you're going to be building your game and where you'll see every part of the level that you're building uh, as you go. So in the scene panel, which is this thing over on the left here, um, what you'll see is any particular objects that you place into it. And also those same objects will be listed in the hierarchy. So when you've got an empty new scene as I've got here, you'll have only one game object and that's the main camera. Okay, so you can see that there. So what's going on with the scene view? Well, the scene view you can navigate around by using the hand tool. That's the first of four tools up at the top. So the hand tool will let you drag around to pan. It will let you hold down alt to rotate your view around like this. And it will let you hold down control to let you zoom in and out. Now control to be aware is the same on Mac and PC. It's not like uh, where command replaces control in some apps. Um, it's control on both platforms. So that's the hand tool, panning normally by dragging around in the scene view, holding alt to rotate the view around, and then holding down control to zoom in and out. The other thing you should be aware of is if you're not looking at an item currently, you can select that item in the hierarchy view, hover your mouse over the scene view and press F for Freddy on the keyboard to focus on that object. So what else can you do with the scene view? Well, you can also search the scene view. So for example, if I had an object, let's say we create a cube, which I'm going to rename box one. If I have that in my scene view, I can move that around. So let's focus in on that. I can move that around with the second tool there, the transform tool. That's gonna to let you move that around sorry, translate tool even, I should say. It's gonna let you basically move things, okay? Regardless of the name, it will still work. So you can drag on individual handles to move that, or you can place your cursor inside the square in the center where those vertices meet and drag around as well. But obviously, if you want accuracy, you're gonna to need to drag an individual axis at a time. So the green handle is the Y axis going up and down, red handle for X axis, and blue handle for Z axis going into the th 3D space. So you can also switch to views that are based on only one axis at a time. So I can use this gizmo up in the corner to switch from perspective view to side on view from back, left and front and then top down view or bottom view as well. Okay, so it's quite useful um, to be able to actually view only in one axis, especially when positioning objects in relation to one another. It can be very difficult to position them using perspective-based view. So other things you should be aware of, um, you can switch on uh, lighting, you can toggle that on and off, you can toggle sky effects, and you can toggle in-game audio to preview it instead of pressing play. You can also search the game view. So again, if I wasn't looking at where my object happens to be, so if I just move my view over here somewhere, and I type in my box, it basically grays out everything except the object that I'm looking for. So if I select my box, you can see main camera has gone from the list, so it's no longer there. If I press F, it moves over to show just that object. So for example, if I wanted to um, position several things in there. So if I have a sphere as well, if I type in the search sphere, it's showing me only the sphere there and graying out the box. Whereas if I type in the box, you can see it's showing me the box and leaving the sphere grayed out with the rest of the map. So that's basically the scene view. Um, we'll move on to look at the other panels next.